All right, I have got to tell you about this artist called Eric Joyner. He is a pop artist and he creates these hilarious paintings of robots and donuts. So here's one of them. Now you can see this giant robot crashing on the city below with giant donuts here on the building and floating in the sky. Here's another one, Got some UFOs there in the background. And another, the donut there in the background, looks like a house almost. And some more, these robots coming forth with all of these donuts. So they're really funny, they're awesome to look at. I encourage you to go check him out. So what I'm gonna show you how to do today is how to draw some really simple robots with our favorite food because who doesn't want to draw their favorite food? It's going to make us hungry though. All right, so I have my paper here. And as always, I'm going to draw with a marker just because it's easiest to see on the camera. And when it comes to drawing robots, they're made of metal machines. So they're very simple shapes. They're going to be in rectangles, squares, maybe a triangle, maybe some circles, but you just need really simple shapes to make a robot. So I'm going to start with a square just like that right in the middle of my paper i'm going to do a rectangle right above it so this is going to be the body and the head of my robot i'm going to connect his head and his body with maybe some tubing some little wiggly lines there in between Maybe he's got an antenna coming out the top. Some circle eyes. Gosh, a little bit scary. Rectangle mouth with some teeth. Maybe like that. Maybe he's got a little button up here. Robots are gonna have lots of little buttons and lights. I add a few more buttons right here. Maybe a little light is going to be right there now for our robot's arms we're going to do skinny rectangles for the top part of the arm and the lower part so i'm going to go rectangle rectangle maybe another one over here rectangle, rectangle. And for his hands, I'm actually gonna do a letter C or a crescent moon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a C, two little lines, and then another C. So it's like a 3D bubble letter. Well, not 3D, but it's a bubble letter C. I'm gonna do another one over here. There we go. Now you can give your robot legs or you can do what I'm thinking, which is to put him on a wheel, like a unicycle. I think that would be pretty cool. So I'm gonna draw an oval, the middle, and then the spokes, kind of like a bicycle wheel. And don't forget, if you're following along with me and you're doing the exact same thing, you can absolutely pause this as often as you need to, or you can just use this as inspiration and do your own kind of robot that looks any way that you want it to. All right, and I'm going to do some little tubes here to connect everything, some little wires. That's what makes his arms move. All right, maybe another little square right here. I feel like you can't have too much. All right, so I've got my robot. Now I need my favorite food. You can do the donuts like Eric Joyner did, or you can do your own kind. So I think I'm going to do some pizza because that's what I love. So I'm going to add little slice of pizza over here. It's gonna be cheesy and gooey and delicious. Maybe some pepperoni. That and over here, I think I'll put the pizza box. So it's like he just served himself up a slice. Pizza with a slice taken out. It's okay if your drawing goes off the page a little bit. And then I'm gonna put the road down here. 
maybe I'll add some small buildings out here just to show that he's kind of near a city. And this is pretty much it. Robots, like I said, really simple shapes, putting them all together. These buildings are simple shapes, just some tall rectangles. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed up the video so that you can see what it looks like when it's all done.